something also I liked. So many tourists, and many foreigners I saw in this area. So while I was here, I met some friends from a different country, different part of the world, and I said to myself, wow, if tourists are there, and tourism is growing up, so my school there will be more necessary and, and helpful for people. To bring it to Cabrera. To bring it to Cabrera, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So before I left, many people told me, well, yeah, that would be a good idea if you bring the school. So that's why I went back, and I told you, 1995, February, 20, February, February, beginning of February, I decided to come here and moved here with and the school. How did you meet? Did you meet your wife here? Or? I, I met my wife here. In Cabrera? Right. Okay. I met her here in Cabrera. Months after, maybe after, uh, let's say after a year or About something. A year. Yeah. Okay. Right. After a year of moving here, I met my wife from the countryside, but she she used to come here to Cabrera um, to work with uh, a Canadian lady. So she okay. used to help the Canadian lady had a had like a, two uh, two children. Mm -hmm. She was she they were always together. Okay. So then I I went to the countryside to meet uh, her family. Okay. And I love the I love the family. Great people. Country so, folks are something yes, else. They're they great. Are, they are. They are uh, very you know spiritually. Yes. Yeah. How many years people. now you married? Uh, let's say like uh, uh, or about 19. And you have two children? We have two, two, two daughters. And what right? are their ages? Uh, 18 and 14. And they're both currently now being uh, educated in America? Yes, schools? right. They are right there in the, in the U.S. They live in Miami, Miami area. Mm -hmm. My daughter Lisa, she's 18. She's finished high school and now she's work she started in a, in a, um, an academic mm -hmm. so she saw uh, she's doing a like a, her uh, estilist she started like her nails and okay uh, beautician beauty. yes it's okay. That's what she's okay. Doing. okay right my older daughter Giselle she's in um, in 10th grade mm -hmm. high school mm -hmm. right yeah they doing they love they love it there too so, do they have any intention uh, of uh, once education's done, they want to come back here? Or? Well, my wife's yes. Mm -hmm. My wife's is just re waiting for the time to come. But uh, my daughters, they 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 loved they love it a lot there. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think they they ready for coming to slow down. You know, Florida. I don't think they love it over there. They want to live in America. They love the school. They love well, friends. They're young. And yeah, they're teenagers. So they they teenagers and they done most of their life there. Mm -hmm. So they know more about there than what they know here now. Even, you know, school here might be a struggle for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there they perfect. They great. They like it a lot. You know. well, describe about how you opened up. Now you you currently own um, a very good prominent English teaching school here yeah and tell us a little bit also about the school but also about who you're working with now teaching the foreign employees Spanish mm -hmm. tell, tell us a little bit about that all right uh, yeah school you know the school here in Cabrera has been very uh, stable and successful I can say I'm very satisfied with the results mm -hmm. because uh, I can say that since 1995 till now, mm -hmm. I have been uh, working with local people and let's say maybe six or seven generations of teenagers and kids, then teenagers and now adults, uh, had they been in my classes. Mm -hmm. That's why everywhere I go, you know, everybody knows me. Yeah, teacher, so teacher. Teacher, teacher. Yeah. Exactly. Now, this time, this present time, we, I'm working for uh, some projects at the beach in Playa Grande Beach. Mm -hmm. So I'm teaching workers, they want to improve more English, so I'm teaching them. Uh, also, I'm teaching foreigners who come from, works for the projects from different part of the world, they want to improve their Spanish. I'm doing that, I'm working with them as well. And everything's great you know school every day one more person know the school and know mm -hmm. and take my classes and and like it the way 
because I try to uh, teach in a real, like a real life situation, like in real time, like, okay, it's not only the school, it's not only the classroom, so let's go outside, let's meet people, let's talk to people, mm -hmm. let's play domino, let's, uh, yeah. play, let's play pool, you know, do you remember years ago? I don't know if you remember because you do see a lot of people, but I'm going to test you for a second here. Remember about seven, six, seven years ago, you used to drag me out with you? Yep, yeah. You, used, you helped yes, me. Now, not nice. that I'm, not, I'm, guys, I'm no expert in Spanish, but I would say I'm about 75% there. I could speak oh, reasonable. Well, you can. You can speak it. And, I know. And uh, But do you yeah. remember six, seven years ago, you used to drag me out for coffee in the I morning? I do remember. To a little of place course. in, 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 uh, in by the park? Right by the park. Right. And I was, the, I was the only gringo. I was the only <laughs> foreigner in there. Yeah. And, yes. And, and uh, yeah. you know, guys, not, not that, not, I'm, uh, I'm going to be straight with you. That's the best way to learn the language yeah. is just get out in the field, I call yeah. it. Get the experience sure, in the field. Sure, and in sure. the beginning, uh, you don't know what you're, oh, right. nothing but, Five, six months later, after you're out there having beers with the local people or yep. coffee in the morning with <laughs> yeah, the local people, right. you just start to hear and it starts to put together and then it comes back pretty, pretty yeah. well. That's right. That's right. In classes, in the classroom, we deal a little bit with the standard Spanish and the rules and the things. Yeah. But then we come outside and, yeah. and deal with the reality. Yeah. What's going on in town, what's really happening on with the people, yeah, with the yeah. local people. We're going to zip yeah. in uh, while yeah. we're talking here. Uh, Larry, the tech guy, is going to zip in a, a nice little video sent to us by Lewis of one of their field trips on the bus and everybody going to uh, oh, yeah, that the was fort. Fun. And that, was fun. that was fun. That was fun? That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's singing right now. See? They sing and sing and they're having fun. This is a day of fun. So everybody's having a lot of fun today going to Puerto Plata City. That's where we're going. Say hello, people. Say hello. Puerto Plata City. Puerto Plata City. All right. Yeah. It's Kimmy and Libby. Puerto Plata City. Yeah. <laughs> Once a year. I do that. It's, it's like I want to take my students to a real uh, situation where they get out of the classroom, stop listening to the same language, uh, teachers, uh, teachers speak in the classroom, listen to me, repeat after me, uh, grammar, focus, new words, exercise. I want to finish, I want to forget all about that and bring them on a real uh, stage where they can listen to the language and act the language. Mm -hmm. So we, that's why we just take a, a place, a, a destination, we set up, organize, transportation, food and everything. I normally go maybe uh, d days before, I go and I do all the contacts. Okay, get it know, all the set The food up. and yeah. the, the places. Yeah. So that, that last uh, two Sundays ago, we went to Porto Plata. Like 40, 45 of my students went with me. How many are you teaching so, now? Oh, let's say probably 150, 160 wow. people. Wow. Okay, I didn't realize. You know, that we much. have classes. We have classes since early in the morning till um, we, we stop about 11. We stop, then we start again at four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, thirty. Uh, that's from Monday through Wednesday. But we also teach in Saturday morning. Saturday morning we start at nine, finish at twelve. Take a break, start again at 2.30, and then go, go back uh, till 5. Sunday morning, 9 to 11.45. So it's a busy time all the time. You've yeah. recently been, your school's recently been contracted to represent the big uh, um, Playa Grande project uh, to teach the employees English and yep. to teach the English speaking Spanish. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's something I'm doing. I usually go to the projects, I mean, to a Manera uh, uh, resort, and two days a week, Monday okay. uh, and Tuesday from 9 to 5, and uh, Thursday, 9 to 5. I'm, I'm working there, I'm teaching, I have two, two uh, three levels, uh, two basic, one basic and one elemental levels of English, and one advanced. 
Okay. And then Spanish for uh, foreigners. They're one of my students uh, from Italy, an Italian the chef, one of the chef, he completed two months Spanish classes with me. Now he's on a video, mm -hmm. which, you know, mm -hmm. thanking the school, thanking classes. He was, he felt like he improved and he learned a lot and he's so grateful and happy with the results. But he was an excellent student. He didn't skip, he didn't miss one class.